Hi heathens! So today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. Let's catch up. I'm not going to focus so much on the makeup. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and what I'm using, but I mainly just want to play catch up. Um, we just got back from vacation yesterday. We went to uh, North Carolina, went to uh, like a gem mining place. I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Um, and it was really fun. So I'll tell you about that in just a second. If anyone's ever been to anywhere other than Emerald Hollow, because obviously we've been there now. So I want to know where you've been, if you enjoyed it, like what the average cost was, how easy you thought it was to find different gemstones or like was it kind of a pay to win situation i'll explain that in a minute the most exciting thing was i got engaged i'm so excited um i didn't see it coming pretty much everyone who watches my channel that would even care already knows so you know i'm not gonna make this whole video about that, but yes, I am engaged now to the love of my life. I'm so excited. Cannot wait. Um, find it really hard to focus on doing makeup while I'm trying to talk about that. I'm going in with the ColourPop and Bretman Rock Wet Palette in the shade I'm Chillin', which is this super deep blue. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited. I can't, I, I just can't even explain how just, I don't know. Anyway, I don't have words for that. So anyway, um, Emerald Hollow. We went to the gem mine and it's like, you have three different activities. You have the Sluiceway, which I may be mispronouncing, um, where you can buy buckets that have been pre-filled with dirt and stones and stuff like that. Um, they range from like $5 to $1,000. Um, we got a few of those, and by a few I mean one. Uh, it was supposed to be with, what were they called, Ruby Star and Sapphire or something, but I feel like we may have gotten the wrong one because it was filled with a lot of different kinds of quartz, which was still fine. I was really excited. It's really fun. I got super dirty because you're playing in a bunch of clay, but yeah, so you've got that area where you can also take... All the ones that you just naturally find to like wash off if you're one of the people that essentially fills your bucket with just clay to see what's in it I have no idea what I'm doing by the way with my eyes I was just told I should do blue and purple so we're just uh, gonna see where it takes us um, but one of the other uh, activities that you can do is just digging where you get a shovel in a bucket and you go to the dig area. It's full of obviously like clay and you dig. I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like it would be. Um, you dig, you try to find stuff, you fill your bucket, then you can like come wash it off. And then you can also go creaking, um, which is also kind of exactly what it sounds like where you go to the creek and try to find natural gemstones in there. They give you this uh, little tool that you use to scoop up some of the sand in the water. Um, and then you get a sifter to, I don't know how I feel about this. You get a sifter that you can use to um, like get the sand out of it. I'm going to switch palettes. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. 
I don't think I showed you the Bretman Rock, but um, I'm going to get a different brush. I'm going to try to go in with this one. So we did all three, and I had a really nice time. I'd love to be able to go back at some point when it's not near as hot. It wound up being like 90-something degrees, and originally the weather had said the day that we were going to go, it was supposed to be like... 80 and cloudy so we were like oh yeah it's not gonna be that bad and by we I mean me because I was the one looking at it um and poor Michael I unintentionally lied about the weather because the weather lied to me and it was like 90 not a cloud in the sky and hot um so we got some really good exercise in um Got a nice sweat session going, which is really fun. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. We tried some really nice restaurants. Um, there was a nice little Greek-Italian bistro that we tried. I, for the life of me, cannot recall the name. But it was really, really nice. The salad that came with our meal was so good. I did not even have to use my ranch. For anyone who doesn't know me, you're like, okay. For anyone who does know me, I pretty much don't eat a salad without ranch. I'm going to go in now and see Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. And I'm going to use this bright purple shimmer down here and try to put that on the center and see what that looks like. Um, but it was so yummy that I did not even need my ranch. And then we got a like pasta trio sampler um, like for the dish. That was really good. We went to a Mexican restaurant called Papa's and Beer. That was really good. Those burritos are huge. Um, where we went, like all the places, well we took the bistro to go but like all the places you had to wear masks in, um, like they were practicing social distancing as far as seating goes. So like there were a lot of tables that were unused so that they could properly spread people apart. Um, just overall an incredible trip. Obviously nothing compared to the, the, the big surprise. Um, which I just, apparently everyone else knew, uh, in his family. I had no idea. Um, which makes me wonder if I was just oblivious to anything or if he was just that good at keeping it hidden. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, we just got back. So, how is everyone doing? How's everything going? Today was my first day back to work after the vacation. And, uh, I just wasn't feeling it. I feel like I was super behind, which I only technically missed one day of work. This is, of course, my Rimmel London 25-hour foundation. I technically only missed one day, so I shouldn't have been, like too far behind the eight ball. Totally grabbed the wrong brush. What is wrong with me? Um, just somehow, I guess I lost my groove being off that one whole day. And I got in today and felt like I just could not get ahead. Had someone new starting today. So maybe that played a part into it because you have to stop and get training started, do paperwork. I don't know. I just felt like I was moving in slow motion today. I feel like nothing that I set out to get done got done except what absolutely had to be done. And I just, I don't know. I'm not pleased with what I got done today. Does anyone else have those days where you just don't feel accomplished? Even though you did stuff, it just doesn't feel... Like it was enough or that it was the right stuff. 
because I'm definitely having one of those days. Um, I don't know if it's, I haven't had a vacation really since being an adult at all. Like we've done little day things like going to the zoo and, uh, stuff like that. But we haven't, this is our first like vacation and I don't know if this is like vacation brain because the only other vacations I've ever taken have been, you know, when I was younger over the summer. So it's not like I had to like jump back into school and a routine right after returning. So if this is just vacation mode and I'm overthinking it, that would make me feel better. Um, but I hope whatever it is breaks shortly because I have stuff that I need to get done and I just feel like I can't I'm having a hard time getting back into a rhythm, getting it going, because, I don't know, I just couldn't get a groove every time my concentration was broken. Like, I still knew what I was doing. I wasn't having a hard time remembering anything, but normally, if I'm multitasking and I, like, break my concentration on one activity, it's super easy and quick to just jump right back into it. Today was not like that at all. If I broke my concentration, it was like pulling teeth to try to get back into that rhythm, that mindset of this is what I'm doing. This is what I need to do to get it back going. And I was like, what is happening? Like I was not digging it. I'm going to go back into the wet palette, back into the I'm Chillin' shade with a super flat brush to line the lower lash. But otherwise, I guess I'm glad to be back. Um, not glad to have responsibility, but it was definitely very refreshing to just kind of get away from everything for a little bit and not have to worry for a couple days, be able to just relax with the person I love. You know, no stress, no worries, just us. It was definitely, I hate to keep saying relaxing, but it was. It was very therapeutic. Um, so it's definitely something I'm looking forward to doing again. I don't feel like I need to set my face, but I'm going to do a little bit anyway. AOA pressed powder giant fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pat over everything um so yeah uh back to what I was originally saying so if you've ever been to a like gym mine where you actually get to do stuff to get your own gems where was it how much was it what was the experience like like did you enjoy it because I've seen some like reviews or little thoughts on some of the other ones and sometimes it seems like people don't necessarily the, enjoy the experience because of the location or the way things are run um I just flat broke the top of my thumb off trying to open this highlighter not my thumb but my thumbnail son of a gun uh Thankfully, I needed to cut them tonight anyway, so there's just my motivation to do it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm a little nervous about going to another one, but I would like to one day. Um, but maybe one with a, a slightly different experience, so it's not like we're just doing the exact same thing over and over, you know? And then I want to know what are your favorite places to go, like vacation spots? Obviously, I live in South Carolina, so something that's not terribly far where we could go, like, a weekend or, hell, even a day trip um, would be appreciated. Because, you know, every now and then you just need to get away. And I think if we could do that more often, it would be a little... It would help my mentality a bit. I'm going to go in with the benefit they're real mascara just to build up a bit on the top so I don't know like I said overall it was 
an amazing experience. We didn't do near as much as I think some people may do when they're on vacation. But part of that is obviously COVID. And part of it was just the fact that since this is our first one, I think we were more or less just like, hey, let's just chill. Let's not worry about doing anything. Um, but maybe next time it'll be a little different. And I got engaged. And so I know you're probably sick of hearing about it. I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. I can't help it. Um, anyone who's in my shoes can understand, I'm sure. I'm going to go in with the floss, new favorite lip gloss in Yule. My lips have been so bad lately. I don't know what that's about. I think that's all I'm going to do. I just wanted a little chit chat sesh. I feel like it's been so long because the videos that I uploaded this weekend were pre-filmed because obviously I did not want to have to worry about filming or uploading or doing any of that while I was away. So all of that was pre-filmed, put in the queue to upload. So I responded to some comments while I was away um, in some downtime, but I did not film. I did not upload. All of that was done in advance. So I feel like I haven't communicated with y'all in so long. Um, and it hasn't even been that long, but it feels like it. So anyway, let me know how you're doing down below. Let me know your favorite vacation spot, gem spot, whatever. I'm so excited. Expect to see this a lot, hear about it a lot. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the look. I don't, I, I don't, I had no idea where I was going with it. I didn't even tell y'all what highlighter I used. It was the Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Northern Lights. Every chance I get to use this highlighter. I go for it because I love it and it's green so I can't wait to work. So anyway, I guess that's it for this video. I missed you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more of my content. I will see you guys next time. Bye.